Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on converting a percentage to a fraction. Now we've got four percentages here and we want to convert each of them to fractions. And the only thing you need to remember is what percent actually means. Now percent means out of 100. So if we have 75%, that means we have 75 out of 100. So let's write that down. 75 out of 100 as a fraction. And then all we need to do is convert these fractions to their simplest form. Now we explored that in a previous video, but what we need to do is to find the biggest factor that's common to 75 and 100. So what number can we divide 75 and 100 by? Well, 25 is a factor of 75, and 25 is also a factor of 100. So if we divide both of these by 25, 75 divided by 25 is 3, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. And this is a kind of like common percentage that you should remember the fraction for of by heart. What about this one? This is slightly harder. 24%, so it's 24 out of 100, because that's what percent means. Now we could find the biggest factor of these, but we can just do it step by step. Notice that 24 and 100 are both even, which means we can divide them both by 2. So we do that, we get 12 over 50, and then we just could keep going. We don't have to simplify it all in one go. 12 and 50, again, both even, so you can divide them both by 2 to get 6 over, that becomes 25. Now, 6 and 25, there's nothing we can divide them both by except for 1, and therefore that is 24% as a fraction in its simplest form. Now, these last ones are actually a bit easier. 3% is 3 over 100. And that we can't simplify any further because 3 and 100 don't share any factors in common except for 1. And then finally, 30% is 30 out of 100. Now can you see 30 and 100 both divide by 10? So if we divide top by 10, bottom by 10, 30 divided by 10 is 3, and 100 divided by 10 is 10, so we get 3 tenths.